Jivin here, welcome to another video. Today we'll be looking at three of my recent arena wins and talking step by step how I won those games. Let's get it. So first game I go weather station and I'm contested by two people. And I know there could be a lot of other people at other outskirts spots nearby. So when I land, I'm just looking for a shotgun. I always want to try to have a shotgun for this off spawn fight. Otherwise it's really tough to win. And eventually I find one. And then I just start playing my angles, trying to get some peak shots on these players. I eventually pick up one of the kills. After I get that first kill, I just can't find the other guy, so I get up on high ground and try to find him, and I realize he went for this llama that's nearby. I have the high ground advantage, and I have good guns, so I start pushing over. He starts running away, but I really want to win this fight because he got the llama, so he's going to be stacked. So I keep the pressure on, play my angles, just like I'm in a 1v1 realistic creative fight, and eventually win. At this point I'm pretty kitted, but I don't have any movement so I look around a little bit at caddy and eventually I get like 4 shockwaves so I'm big chillin' and I'm ready to take a fight. I get a bounty and yeah then I start pushing over towards the bounty and try to get some kills. So I head over to lazy and I'm trying to get the jump on the person, turns out they somehow knew I was here, and eventually a third party shows up. And so I just start patiently waiting in my builds and I'm waiting until they start fighting. Once I hear them in kind of a 50-50 type situation, I know it's time to push in and I get two free kills. If you ever get third partied like that, you can easily disengage and then re-engage when they start fighting. And so after that, I hear someone else rolling up and I figure they're gonna come down here. So I wait for them to drop on this ramp and I'm planning to cone them once they drop on it, but it was a failed mission and they never dropped down. We get in a little scrabble for a bit, start build fighting, but the fight wasn't going anywhere and both of us realized we needed to go to zone. So I disengage and I go refresh my mats at that old loot and head to zone. On the way to zone, I saw a beam opportunity. I only got like one or two tags and there were a lot of people around. So I didn't push. I didn't want to get third partied hard. But then somebody boxes up right next to me and I'm like, this is a free box fight situation. I had good loot and he was literally right next to me, so I figured might as well start a box fight. I end up letting him walk into my builds and then I just surprise him from the side. Shortly after that I was just chilling and I got a major beam and so I try to push it. The guy literally disappeared, I'm not sure where he went, but I just started thinking about getting to zone. So I bounce their shockwave up the mountain and just base up up here. Eventually a psychopath comes and starts pushing me. It didn't seem like a good fight to take, so I shockwave away some more, but the psychopath follows me, you know the vibes. So I start fighting it out and I get a really big hit on them. I know they're like one or two shot and so I just apply pressure non-stop. I don't want them to be able to heal at all. Eventually I get the kill but I'm pretty low on mats after this fight. Lucky for me, I saw a free rotate up the side of the mountain and I had a lot of bouncers, so I just saved my mats and bouncered up the mountain. Once I get to the top, there's somebody right up there waiting for me and I'm in need of a refresh, so I start trying to fight them, I mess up, and I end up having to base up. It didn't quite go as planned, but eventually I actually get a crack on them and they jump down the mountain and I follow them up and get the kill. And then at this point I'm chilling, I'm set up nicely for the win. And so I just start planning my next rotate. I take time to mark zone, I'm looking around trying to figure out where people are, and then when Storm is on my back, I shockwave to the front edge of zone and just stay ahead. I end up stumbling upon a supply drop and get a free refresh on shockwaves. 
and so I get right back on height and start pressuring everybody fighting on the edge of zone. And then it comes down to just being a 1v1, and it's just like a zone war situation, you know? We each have a good amount of mats and movement, so we're just battling it out. People keep asking me if I think they should just W key every single lobby or play it safe for late game, like which way is better for getting points. But as you'll see in this video, it's not really either of them. The way I approach arena is I play smart. I do smart keying. What this means is if I'm good on mats, have movement, have good weapons, have heals, obviously I should look for a fight. You only want to take a fight if you're ready to fight. Anyways, the way I win this fight is just by knocking him out. It's pretty funny. GG's, on to game two. So game two, I land Holly and I get dog loot at my house. So I start rotating to the nearby house. Unlucky for me, there was already somebody there. And so I'm just trying to maneuver through the house, get them kind of trapped behind my build so that I can rotate to another house. But on my way out, a third party comes. And so I'm like, crap. I sit still in my box and I try to get them to fight. Once I hear them take some shots at each other, I instantly start rotating. That way they can't hear me rotating out. I get to the next house safely and I get shield, I get a shoddy and I am all set. And so then I start looking for the other players. I'm all set to fight, so I try to find them. I swear to God, I heard him in these builds. The audio cue was like messed up and turns out he was behind me, gets a free shot on me, but I win the fight barely. It was the worst audio cue ever. But after that I'm chillin' and I go get a bounty from the NPC at this place. It says that my bounty's at Greasy, so I head over, turns out they're fighting, and I just hop into the fight. They finished fighting right as I got there, but I clean up the fight pretty nicely. I did make the mistake, Zone was pulling in while I was initiating that fight. Lucky for me, I finished it pretty quickly and was able to get to Circle without taking too much damage. And once I get to zone, I literally said out loud to my chat, I was like, man, I need a medkit. First thing I find is a medkit, so lit. Stream my loot. Then I'm rotating in more, I hear people fighting, and so I get ready. I have a sniper, and then bop, easy kill, and then the other person pushes over, and I finish that fight up quickly too. You might think the way I was pushing this wall in the second fight here was bad, but I stayed towards the back edge so that I could easily slip out if I don't take the wall first try. Lucky for me, I took the wall first try and finished it really fast. After that, I rotate to zone pretty freely and I run into some supply drops. Sadly, as soon as I hop out of my car to get it, I get beamed. I get some heals off, but I'm really not liking this fight because he has a dragon shotty and I'm only 150 HP, so that's like scary because I could have gotten one shot at any point. So I just dip and I go get this supply drop over here. As soon as I get the supply drop, I push straight to another fight because I am kitted. I got a scar, I got everything I need, I got full health, yada yada. I literally couldn't take this person's wall, so I based up for a second, and eventually I started applying some more pressure later. At the same time, I started applying a pressure, the person gets shot from the side, and then I just get psychoed, and it was a free kill. So I get double the loot, both of their loots, and I'm super kitted, and just head further into zone. So as I'm rotating to this half and half, somebody was swimming across the river and started looking at me weird. And I was like, screw it. I have like probably a minute or two to fight real quick. I'm gonna do it. I end up changing my name to Kyle after this game because I peace controlled the crap out of this dude. Just kidding, but I did poop on him. Anyways, I get to the front edge of the first moving zone and I start a little tunnel there. I have all this movement, I have bouncers and a shockwave, so I don't feel the need to tunnel way ahead all the way to the next zone. I just chill here for a bit and start looking for picks, and then eventually I bounce her ahead. Pay attention to how I do the bouncer, by the way. I feel like not a lot of people do it like I do. They usually build out of their box and then place a wall and bounce her. But doing it my way, I feel like is a lot safer, just straight from inside your box. 
Anyways, I'm ahead of zone and I'm just applying pressure to everybody. I'm trying to stay ahead with my bouncers and just keep spraying back, trying to make everybody shambles. I end up trying to go for height and I get beamed on my way up, so I put a cone over myself and start healing. And this is the reason I saved my shockwave. I only had one, so I used it to get out of this tight situation and knock the opponent out of high ground at the same time. So I just keep staying ahead, keep spraying back, and eventually it's a 1v1 and I get the dub. So third game I land between retail and lazy at this henchman house. I pick up a free kill cause this dude had no gun other than a harpoon. And I'm not sure he knew how to open a chest. So after I pick up the kill I rotate over to the pond area. And there's somebody here and I try sneaking up but they caught me. They get the health advantage on me but a third party actually rolls up and I'm able to third party them real quick. And then the person that survives just shockwaves away. Anyways, after that I just fish up for a little bit, rotate to zone, and I ran into somebody over here. I get a big hit on them, and just like most people in arena, they shockwave away from me. I chased them for a bit, but they had so much movement that they eventually just got away, so I just went over to the gas station here and tried looting up some more. While I'm looting here, somebody rolls up on me and pinches me in this corner, which was really awkward. I had two choices, just to apply pressure back or break out behind me, and I chose to fight back, cause I was pretty kitted. I get the quick kill and then get pushed again by a third party. I end up shockwaving away from them just a little bit so that I have some room to move, and I can reset mentally for the fight. I knew they were gonna push me so I just instantly got ready. This fight got super awkward because those robot henchmen people started spraying at us during this fight. I end up barely winning this fight. I missed so many shots, I, I'm not gonna lie, I was pretty nervous because I thought I was for sure dead. I end up winning though. And after I won the fight, I instantly had to rotate to zone so I get in the sand and get ahead. Right as I get into zone, I stumble upon some nice loot and I'm kitted again. So I just start rotating to the next zone. I'm just trying to stay ahead because this zone was pulling us far. And on the way to this zone, when I was in weeping, I spray at this kid and he didn't look like he really knew what he was doing. He just kept swimming and eventually he bases up, held up by one thing and it was the freest kill. So after I get that kill, I start looking, there's like four people fighting next to me. And I was just sitting there staring for a while. Then I was like, wait a minute, all of them gotta be shambles because I heard so many shots going off. So I just go in like 5th party that fight and clean it up really fast. During this fight I know I have to finish it fast so I'm applying heavy pressure. I only have 30 seconds till 2 tick storm starts pulling in on us. Luckily it took basically no time at all. And then I move into zone and I get sprayed at pretty quickly so I just base up. I'm right next to like 3 people and they're all really aggressive so I just keep getting pushed over and over again. And I'm trying to position myself away from them, that way they can start fighting, and as soon as they start fighting I'll push in. However, these guys were weird. I just kept randomly getting pushed on height, and I don't really know what their game plan was, but yeah, this was just kind of like a free-for-all brawl. Eventually, I pick up a kill though. Yay! And then I move into zone. I see somebody peeking out of a cone really awkwardly, so I push up to that and get another free kill. And then I see one of the psychos from the other fight where it was like a free-for-all just building up to height on me. And so I just am not going to let him have that. I build up over top of him.
I started getting hungry for this kill, but eventually I see somebody flying by and they get shot out of the air and I'm like, screw it. I'm just gonna go base up on that loot and get ready to win the game. And at this point, moving zones are starting, so I just gather my things, check everything that I have, my ammo count, my resources, my movement, and I get ready to win the game. Because I have shockwaves, I wait until zone is on me, until the storm is right up against me to shockwave. Until then, I'm looking back for picks. I end up getting a free pick while waiting here, and then I shockwave ahead and get on height. From here on out, I'm pretty much just bouncering from one high ground to another, just keeping everybody feeling pressured below me and trying to stay on the front edge of zone, because if you're on the front edge of zone and on high ground, you can look back at the people fighting on low ground right up against Storm. Those are going to be the people that are most shambles and easiest to get picks on. And then I'm not going to lie, this last guy I just kind of toyed with. I kind of feel bad about it now, but I don't really care. GG's! Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know a lot of you love it when I talk over my gameplay about my thought process and everything, so... Let me know in the comments if you want more videos like this. I actually really enjoy making these videos, so let me know. Drop other video ideas in the comments as well. And just an FYI, all my socials, including my second YouTube channel where I post stream highlights, all that stuff is in the description. Anyways, like and subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.